We just want people to spend the quality time with their children because you literally don't know if you have tomorrow. Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Lisa. We're a mother-daughter duo that renovates school buses in North Carolina. And this is Women Beyond Borders from Your News Travel. So in 2015, my brother was in an accident and he lived by the motto, it's the simple things in life that make it worth living. So we took that mantra and we turned it into a lifestyle that we were hoping a bunch of people could live. And we thought we were just gonna just do the one. It was just time spent together that we thought we'll just do one and be one and done. And then it sold very quickly. And then we said, well, maybe we'll try one more. And that was 12 buses ago. <laughs> in its simplest form is a, a school bus turned into a home. A tiny home. The difference between decorating a schoolie and a house would be you don't have that much wall space and everything has to be extremely practical so everything has to have more than one purpose. The decorating has to be an asset but it can't be the main part because everything has to be extremely functional because people are living in 76 square feet. Compared so, to several thousand so mm -hmm. it's a house is so much easier. So much easier. Well, the reason why I started with the first bus was because Megan came home and she wanted to renovate a house originally. And I said, financially, she wouldn't be able to do it. So she said, well, what do you think about a bus? So we, we found it in the junkyard and I was like, oh, well, I think it'd be a good first bus. And we brought it back and we really just wanted to paint it white. Um, and clean it. And just clean, just clean we love and cleaning. decorate it. Mm -hmm. And that was it. It had a table, it had a really small couch, and a bed. Nothing too special, but for us it was... Yeah, we saw progress, so we were happy. It was Megan's way of coping with the situation that we were dealt here. And, and I think it's brilliant. Like, every day I wake up, I'm like, oh my God, like... What we have such a great day ahead of us. We have so much to look forward to. We have so much to work on. And yes. this, these buses are such a gift. I can't imagine where I'd be without them, personally. So we have a little list of names. They all end in US because it's us. It's a bus by us. It's like Tobias, <laughs> Willis, Phyllis, Spartacus, Julius, <laughs> Gus, Agnes. Um, <laughs> so the reason that we continue to make these buses is just because the people we meet along the way, the people we sell them to, the family that we've created, the community that we've created around these buses is the reason we just, we can't get enough. Guess what I did? <laughs> we had twins, we called them Phyllis and Willis. So we just sold Willis the other day and the, 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 oh my God. the boy who bought him is having the time of his life. He took it right from here to the mountains. It was the first bus that I've seen like go on a trip because everyone's bought them and then is like planning to take them. But this kid just literally picked up and left. And his mom posted a bunch of pictures and videos of him singing in it. The way you light up any room, girl, you want this world to be tomorrow, tonight. It's so heartwarming. It brings tears to your eyes because it's, you know, you know, we put our blood, sweat and tears into it. And to know that somebody's enjoying it as much as we want, I, I can't tell you the joy it brings us. So my favorite bus was Spartacus. And the reason being is, and this was the 40 foot prison bus that we did. It had everything Michael in it. This bus was all about nature. The walls were all natural wood. Um, it was spacious. It was just very homey feeling. I don't think I could beat it as far as the design. It just was very homey and it, it really made me think about him. If he could live in a bus, it would be his perfect situation. He literally just would live with a backpack on and that's why the bus is like, you can only bring so much in a bus. Um, so the more people we can get to live like that, it just makes us so happy. I'd say the million dollar reason why I like doing this is because of the time that Megan and I spend together.
we were close, but Megan and Michael were inseparable. I mean, it was like no other relationship I've ever seen with anybody. It was always who was gonna laugh the hardest, what they were gonna do to make the other one laugh. They were with each other morning and night. Our main reason why we're doing this too is we're just, we, we want families to know how important it is that they spend time together. And we say this a million times and it sounds like we're a broken record, but in reality, it's the main reason we're doing it is that we just want people to spend the quality time with their children because you literally don't know if you have tomorrow.